Hello, and welcome to Rorton Pals. I am not Rort, but these are still my pals. <clears throat> welcome to Tales of Rumea, colon, Shards of the Past, comma, episode three. Uh, I will be your DM for the night, Ian. Uh, background art by the Cryptid May. Uh, and let's introduce you to all of our players, starting with Blue. Hello, my name's Blue. Uh, you can find me on Twitch at BlueKits. Uh, I play Selena, the Australian swashbuckler rogue. Uh, I also created the character art that you see for Selena. Um, and I also create artwork elsewhere. Uh, I have my own business, Blue FX Art. So if you want commissions or I also create merch, you can find me on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, and I have a website, bluefxart.com. That's me. Rort? Um, hi, everybody. My name is Rort or Rory, whatever. Uh, I'm playing Tiresias, the changeling sorcerer, who is currently taking the form of a big honking Goliath. Uh, my background art was done by me. It's a blurry version of it. Um, you can find my information in the panels. Uh, I also want to plug Blue because um, not this week, but next week, I'll have some really cute animated emotes that I commissioned from Blue for a really solid price. So if you want animated emotes, definitely hit her up. Um, and my character art was also done by the Cryptid May, who did Ian's background art. Um, yeah, that's it. And Katya. Yep, that's me. Thanks. <laughs> I'm Katya, and I stream here on Katya Bot for a bit. I am playing Shiver Bethis, a, a human Eldritch Knight fighter. And I am uh, uh, so pleased. Let me do the little emote so y'all can see. My character art is done by the amazing um, Ghost Aura. So when you do the exclamation shiver, you can see a little bit of my bio. And um, Aura is linked there, the art station for them. And yeah, I am ready to kick some ass today. Let's go. All right. So last we left off, the party came together in the wake of an attack on a temple. Uh, they learned some information about what happened <clears throat> at the start of the attack. They came across a uh, pink tiefling named Sigurd, who seemed to have some understanding of what was going on across Rumea with these various weapons. Um, Selena had a vision directing her eastward uh, and then got hammered and passed out drunk in the uh, party's uh, hotel room. Uh, the crew finished off some final loose ends in uh, Tide before hopping on the boat of Captain Kudan to help ferry it up to uh, Aristal on the continent of Adenanta. And that is where we will pick up. So when we had ended last session, uh, we had the party take off and begin their journey. And I believe uh, Tiresias had something they wanted to take care of right off the start. Um, yeah, I want to go talk to the captain. What's the captain's name? How do I spell Udon. that? Uh, C-U-U-R-A-N. C-U-U-R-A-N. Um, cool. I'm going to go talk to the captain. Is it a big ship? What's the ship look like? Um, I, that's a great question. I don't know anything about ships, so... No worries. <laughs> it's, it is a, oh, it's a cargo ship. It's got to be big-ish. 
It's a it's a it's a medium-ish size ship, fully geared to just carry cargo um and people as you as Tiresias would know, um <laughs> nearly all the ships that come through tide that are uh captain and helmed by these more community shipping um companies uh don't have any arms or armaments um there had been no need for them uh so this That's is unfortunate a medium medium-ish sized ship uh <laughs> where are the arms and armaments <laughs> That's what we're here for the- most of uh, most of the space underneath in the um kind of bay is there for cargo um with a decent sized uh, living quarters for captain crew and any guests um no special rooms no you know places for the captain only to sleep everybody kind of sleeps in bunk bed style um uh sleeping arrangements uh towards the aft of the ship <laughs> underneath the uh call it an aft under the the deck uh and there's there's probably about eight ish eight other people there including the captain so it's the captain seven other crew members and the three of you on this ship as you head okay north we can take them no problem let's roll initiative <laughs> no way let's wait, go wait, no. <laughs> against, against the crew that hired you yeah let's go <laughs> i rolled okay. an 18 initiative <laughs> oh my gosh no i guess you fully murder two of the people <laughs> no i i got a nat 20 on the captain oh my gosh <laughs> Yeah, I'm you, just I, kidding, y'all. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not the loose cannon here. We all know that that's Selena. <laughs> hey, now listen. I, I just pickpocket. I don't like full on murder people. Yeah, at least not yet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> uh, Tiresias is gonna go up to the captain. Um, like I'm like a seven foot tall Goliath right now. Um, and I have like a piece of parchment. That I've been drawing on a really crude drawing. I go up to the captain. I'm like, Captain Karan, I was wondering if you or maybe your navigator could help me draw a better map. I was going to make an offering to the guide, but I'm not much of a cartographer. And I was wondering if anybody had more information on the path that will be taken to Aristotle. Uh, yeah, she, um, she calls over the navigator. Uh, I don't know, Kim. Uh, Kim. Kim, the navigator, uh, who kind of rolls out the map, and what you see is, um, if you look at the roll twenty map, you kind of you the map that they have shows essentially Astria, Ilus, uh, Adonata, and the twins, and that's it. Uh, they don't have like complete map of Rumea. They have this very segmented small map uh, of the area. Um, And the navigator goes, yeah, so you can, I'm not much of an artist myself either. I I picked this up from uh, in Tide, uh, but we we left the port here in Tide. And we'll be sailing north, kind of splitting the uh, Bay of Fate um, on our way uh, northeast uh, to the tip of Adenanta, where we'll swing back down to make port in uh, Aristal. Uh, and so he he lays out the, the map and kind of shows you, and uh, together the two of you can... Uh, give me a performance check with advantage to see how good <laughs> map you do draw. All right, this because it's just a role play thing. This is going to be the test to see if I need to throw away this die tonight. Okay. <laughs> Believe it or not, a fucking seven. <laughs> I cannot do better than that. The actual number seven. 
The other one was a two. Okay, this die is going in the trash. My performance with the seven Why? is still not terrible. I'm looking at a 13. Okay, it's <clears throat> it's a fairly decent map. Um, it's still a little kind of patchy, and it doesn't... You can, you can definitely tell the differences, but uh, it's from the kind of blobby one that you brought up first. It's definitely you definitely refined it and uh, made it a little bit more distinguishable. Nice, that's just what I wanted. Um, I mean, like, thank you, Kim. That was wonderful. It's exactly what I needed. Um, You're welcome. And I'm just gonna take the map over to the side of the boat, um, and. I don't have any the are there any like lit lamps? I don't have a way to make fire on me, but I need to burn this for the ritual. Um I don't have any there's fire no camera. lit lamps uh you left in the afternoon, so they haven't yeah. been lighted. Uh I've got you... magic. Uh Shiver, do you have any do you have any fire magic? Uh I wanna walk no, over there. I and have I wanna... a torch and I, I wanna walk and over a tinder box. That... Before you, I I hear fire and I'm like, wait 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 wait, mate, can I can I see that map really quick, please? Uh, sure. I just I just need it back. Don't uh don't steal it. I, I promise. I promise. I won't. I won't <laughs> steal it, mate. I promise. Uh, and I wanna I wanna take and I wanna make a a map a rubbing of the of the map. Mm. But it's slightly different. Your own little copy of it. Nice. Um. Here's my tinder box. Uh, I use your little tinder box. And I I I get some sparks going, and I light this map on fire. I kind of do it over the edge, you know, like when a bad guy in a movie is like burning evidence, and they like burn it, burn They're it, like burn it, it out. and they drop it at the last second. That's kind of what I'm doing. <laughs> um, and Tyrese, I like is to imagine kind of, it takes a really long time to burn, and you're just like holding it and staring at us, and it's like <laughs> <laughs> you're still. <laughs> <laughs> um, while it's burning, Teresa is just kind of like reflecting on like this is the journey that we're going to be taking. I want us to be like safe. I want us to be watched by the guide, and I want the guide to like make sure that we end up like where we need to be. Whatever the guide thinks that that is true. Like if we need to take a detour or do something different, but it's kind of just a ritual to be like this is the journey that I'm going on, and I want you, the guide, to see it <laughs> and be aware of it. Yeah, so as you are standing towards the uh, back of the ship, burning it and kind of letting the scattered ashes kind of fall into the wake behind you, you reflect on the journeys that you've been on, you reflect on the, the one you are making uh, coming up, and... Uh, as you are, you're thinking about everything that that happened in Tide. I'm, uh, you feel a, uh, you feel kind of like a warm, what feels like a warm hand uh, on your shoulder, kind of that sensation of like somebody putting their hand on your shoulder, kind of reassuringly. Um, sorry. Uh, reassuringly and you feel comforted in the knowledge that this entity, this figure, whatever they may be, seems to have taken notice of this offering and is in in whatever way they can uh, are with you and and as that, hand kind of that sensation kind of filters away there is a second sensation that kind of creeps up your spine that kind of like tingle of a spine that comes and this is when like you were thinking about like the growth of your magic and thinking about like everything that happened and as this tingle kind of climbs up your spine, uh, you hear somewhere just a disembodied voice saying, <clears throat> feed, 
feed more child and then just as quickly as it comes it disappears ah! <laughs> feed, feed, feed more child that's what it said feed me see more more uh have i ever felt like the, the warm hand before in doing this ritual okay no i mean i don't you never I think when you learned about the guide was towards the end of when you were traveling. So I think this might be the first kind of bigger excursion that you would have. Uh, I don't think so. Cause no? I learned about, I learned about it from Farana when I was like in my late teens. And then I went to like Illis and then I went to Adananta and then back to Tide. So I think I would have, Done the I at least would have done the ritual like once or twice. I think yeah, I think then this definitely felt stronger. Okay. In the past, you may have had like there was a like that that sense of like when you have that gut feeling that you're like yeah this is right like that like this was much stronger than that. This felt like okay. there was somebody there with you. And then obviously feed feed more child. <laughs> That's new. That you have never once experienced before. Yeah. Okay. That's really. Cool. Um. Well, I think I think after the ritual is done, I'm not gonna tell anybody about the feet. Wild, freaking creepy. But I think I'm just gonna like take the view and kind of try and forget about that for the moment and focus on feeling like the guide's hand on my shoulder and focus on the kind of the good of what happened. Yeah. And so as you as you depart tide and <clears throat> as you kind of get your journey under the way and start heading north uh ca the captain comes and kind of pulls the three of you aside and is just talking about the uh about the trip about the journey um so yeah you know this i don't remember the voice the the, the stretch of uh sea is a bit isolated until you hit uh aristal um not many communities have uh, popped up along the strait here. Kind of as we as we get in, you'll start to to notice why the the land's a little little harsher, a little harder to uh, to settle and make make a home. And so the the edges uh, the there's not a ton of communities, and meaning you know a lot of the ships here are very isolated and very easy to pick off, which you know I think is why. We've been seeing so much piracy here in these parts, um, and you know it's 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 something new. I mean, my family has been been building and has been shipping building supplies and other materials along this passage and and up to Aristotle for for generations. Uh, my great great grandmother was among the early earliest partnerships between suppliers and crafters along this western pass to to ship building supplies up to Aristal to aid in construction of shelters atop the uh, both you know along the along the coastline and then atop there uh, Omura uh, and then I took over the business for my mom about 10 years back or so and and have been struggling to to keep us afloat. I mean, it, we first started experiencing these these pirate raids, you know, a few years before I took a few years towards the end of my mom's tenure as being kind of the the captain of this ship, and I've been dealing with them ever since. And I mean, it's not it's not every every time that we ship that we were attacked by pirates, but it's. You know, it, it's definitely <clears throat> often enough to where we we take notice. So, um, you know, the other captains that I've spoken to, and, and from my experiences, we don't we don't know who they are. We don't, you know, it's it, we don't know where they come from. I mean, they hit us hard and they hit us fast, and you know, <clears throat> the result of which is. I mean, I've seen several friends lose their ships, lose their business, go go destitute because they they can't 
get their goods up to up to the communities that they've been been shipping to so they're so. just stealing goods or not taking any like lives or taking any ships like commandeering vessels just kind of taking the cargo and running i i towards to during the first years when they hit and it still occurs every so often i mean they uh, in the earliest days they were they were killing crew to kind of make their presence known and established. But since then, I mean, you know, none of us are fighters. None of us are really armed and we don't have any armaments on our ship. So, you know, when it's uh, the choice between giving up supplies or giving up lives, most of us just give up the supplies and hope that, you know, they leave some to us. Were oh. there any uh, particular symbols on maybe the mast of their ships or the sails or the, the side of the ships or or Question. something? Um she thinks for a bit, um and like I can't you know, I don't I don't really remember any. I mean a lot of the time it happens so quick and it happens you know under the under the cover of weather under the cover of night and i mean more of my attention is on making sure that they you know don't kill any of any of my crew or don't take or, or sink my ship i mean this ship's been in my family for you know my since my great-grandfather built it my great 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 grandfather built it all those years ago and so sorry i yeah I, I don't i don't know who is uh rory or uh tiresias give me a history check history history not my best skill but let's see what i can do i'm gonna use one of my luckier dice oh 19. Oof. 19. that's so much history <laughs> yeah so you take me uh, back, Ian. Yeah. Take me back. <laughs> as Ada, you definitely heard uh, a lot of conversation from various captains and ship hands who had passed through Thai talking about uh, pirate attacks along the the Bay of Fate and just various kind of shipping lanes around Rumea and I think the thing you remember the most is that there aren't really there's really no uh insignia or anything to give away who they are mm. um, it doesn't seem to be like of all the conversations that you've overheard or you've listened to, there's no organizational structure. You've never heard of like a big boogeyman captain type figure who would be the one like in charge of these attacks. You've you don't <clears throat> you've never really even heard an organizational name or like something that these pirates are referred to colloquially. Um, in fact, often it's very little discussion they kind of come in they demand the goods and they leave leaving the you know ship behind mm -hmm. in depending on how well the captain listened various states of <laughs> usage um and so that's that's yeah. you remember from living in tide for as long as you have and Tarisus will say well, ada ada heard about um a lot of these pirates attacks and said that there was like no marker of like identity or unity or like people taking credit and um uh, and also didn't hear any rumors about even seeing like insignias of rank or like hierarchy amongst the pirate the pirates themselves so it could be like a bunch of different groups just going being opportunistic does it but there's no evidence that would suggest it's like a, a conspiracy or like some united front doing these attacks I got a couple questions. Um, if you know to expect pirates and they occur um, so frequently, why don't you have fighters <laughs> and weapons? 
maybe that's my instinct but if you see an attack coming you prepare for it right i mean you you saw tide where where is the wealth of warriors we can hire from yeah where are the blacksmiths <laughs> who can build giant cannons and armaments for our ships we don't yeah well I was only in Tide for the afternoon and in the evening. And we woke up pretty early this morning. Um, <laughs> so I don't know too much. My second question is, have you seen these goods like show up anywhere else? Would there be like an obvious um, clue for you? If, you know, maybe you catch word that a large shipment of, say, fabric of a certain kind was then found dispersed in other areas or nothing you like don't that. have it's, any leads yeah no nothing nothing like that has ever come back to me i mean i've never heard uh of any of my shipments have which have been stolen landing somewhere else and i mean the the few captains that i know of that i cross paths with on the stretch and you know elsewhere that we deliver to i they haven't heard anything like that either um i mean we don't we don't get east much so maybe it's somewhere somewhere to the east or somewhere further north but i mean we i don't have the the contracts to to <laughs> head east and don't see seems foolhardy at least for the ship that we have to try to chase chase them down do we and, know what we're delivering right now uh yeah you have various um construction and uh farming equipment i think you said construction equipment farming equipment various things that are going up to aristal um to uh, help kind of rebuild or build on to both the kind of coastline city of Aristal. Um, a lot of the farming equipment will, is, is meant to be delivered there and small patches of land that they have uh, along the coast and then to build uh, build onto and uh, further equip the lodgings that are on the Omura that travel the wastelands of Aristotle and Adenanta. All right. Um, Shiver's not on boats much. She is going to go to the side of the ship and uh, hurl. <laughs> you just gotta let it all out, mate. Let her it. Uh, apparently, apparently. <laughs> So as as you're sailing north, you uh, much of it is open water. Um, you uh, learn the way around the ship, learn various tasks, kind of help with little bits of upkeep here and there, uh, help with meals, just kind of help around the ship. Uh, uh, as a, a few a few weeks pass, and you start to kind of hit little islands uh south of the crucible which i'm pinging now um and you see that after after a few weeks of kind of sleeping on the ship as it's going uh the captain kind of pulls uh closer to one of these islands and drops anchor and says that um it's it's not a it's not a heavily populated place but you know, a lot of shippers use use these kind of chains as islands of uh, chains of islands as a little stopping point to to get off the boat, get back onto land, hang out. So there's kind of smaller uh, communities built up. Nothing, nothing permanent, but just kind of houses that are that are used, bunks that are used by by a lot of us. So kind of parks the ship and drops anchor and you kind of you use a, a rowboat to kind of get onto the uh onto the shore and it's uh it's 
afternoon approaching evening at the time and so you're kind of collecting you're you make your way up a hill and you see kind of three uh cabins um mm -hmm. which have you know various levels of uh good stocked in them you see some firewood stacked up in one of them you see all of them have beds and various bunks um there's you don't see any food um people don't know how often they're coming through so anything left here would spoil uh so you see a couple of the crew go off and hunt and come back with uh some various rabbits and deer and other animals to to kind of feed everyone tofu creatures <laughs> various vegetables that are gathered by other <laughs> the uh, potato hair that's just a potato with legs <laughs> oh my goodness uh and uh and make a make a meal and yeah so you're you're kind of here and there's a few different cabins that you can choose to uh to bunk down for uh for the night if you want to If I want to sleep on the island versus a ship, is that the choice that's here? Yeah, yeah. I mean, everybody went to the island. Um, oh, the whole crew did. Um, so it's it's up to you. Is the captain like inviting us down? Because yeah. as somebody who's like hired to like watch the cargo, Tyrese's feels like he should be watching the cargo and like stay on. Yeah, the ship. I. I kind of had the same thought too. I kind of wanted to yeah. stay with the ship. That's what I'm. I'm thinking. really excited to uh, get off get off this boat. I guess Selena and I are staying up on the boat. <laughs> I'm planning to camp out on the beach, maybe, because um, these are the people that I trust out of anything. Only because I've I've been in a fight with them, and they killed the people trying to kill me these other people i still like don't know where i am or what's going on how i got here um so i need to get off this boat because i just keep her rolling <laughs> um but i do want to stay close to my D, &D party <laughs> <laughs> don't split the party <laughs> don't split the party don't do it all right, so Tiresias and Selena, you stay on the boat and yeah. you go to the land. Yeah, just like on the beach, right? Whatever is like right nearest. All right. Um, so you go and you uh, spend the night. Um, the uh shiver uh if you want you're invited up to the camp where they have ver various foods um prepared and gathered and uh laid out for you vegan vegetarian meat they provide for all diets um Tiresias and selena there's some rations rations <laughs> yeah. that are on the on the boat that the the two of you can uh <laughs> can have um as soon as the boat leaves i i want to uh i act like i'm getting on the boat but then i slip and hide i'm alone Where? now i think you're alone now i Wait, mean i'm so still on the boat you're on the but... boat but you're so you Okay, I, I give me a stealth check. Oh my gosh! So, what do I see happening? I'm just new then. You're just, I'm. I don't. We're gonna wrap. What we're gonna follow, Selena. A fourteen. All right. Uh, Tiresias, give me a perception check. I'm not even looking. She's gone. I'm like, oh, she disappeared again. Who cares? <laughs> You are on the ship. Nobody's paying attention to you. Can I go look for some, uh, like, booze or some, like, there's probably no booze, but, like, 
I don't know, like you never uh, know until you try. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. There's probably no booze, but like uh somewhere like either in uh like in the captain's quarters. Let me let me go to where the captain's quarters are. There are no captain's quarters. What? Are we on like a navy ship or, or the captain's office or whatever? No, it's, it's a little um yeah. There's no it's you have the, the top part where you see like the mast and the, the, the poop deck that's open uh, and then underneath yeah. like two thirds to three quarter of the ship uh space is for storing various goods and then the back half is just open bunk area okay let me all go we know is it has a nap okay let me <laughs> a nap. let me go let me go to where it's the goods are stored because mm -hmm. i want to see exactly what i want to figure out exactly what the pirates are are trying to to steal exactly okay uh to your earlier question of booze you saw a couple casks being carried off the ship and put into the uh into the kind of boats that were sent to shore so it's probably that's probably where the booze is is on shore um uh as for uh what you see uh here uh you see uh very um kind of log lumber trees that were felled that are kind of put up for wood um wooden housing uh you see large swaths of fabric that can be used for any number of things uh you see um various kind of construction blacksmithing work hinges knobs it's very much like the skyrim base builder or the fellow base builder where you just get all those weird little things um <laughs> to to build your house that's a lot of what this uh ship is carrying and it's like it's nothing that would jump out to anybody as being particularly valuable uh but you would remember that they don't look for valuables they look for the things that people need day to day they take stuff like this to take over contracts to uh, like as you are kind of walking through this like this is a lot of the stuff that you would raid this like this is a ship that you would have raided the everything you were hearing about you know nondescript sales no form of leadership everything like that it rings true there you know it was drilled into you that you couldn't give anything away you didn't want to give anything away no clues no anything that would make people curious so this is 100% tima uh yeah this is you would know that this is what the raiders would be looking for like raiders being the kind of classification of those who would be those who act under pi as pirates to steal good um you would know uh from uh shivers earlier questions about like where it goes you would know that it goes any number of places once it gets once it gets swiped you know they sail away and oftentimes land at various ports or small little bunker type cove hidden away things to unload and shift the gear around ships come in and out pulling it and ship it to any number of different places either you know oftentimes this would be done by the kind of the the proper arm of Taema, those who ship under the the flag of Taemas and I've started to gather more and more contracts um but it is there's no one set place 
you okay. never like none of your travels carried you this far west you were more on the eastern like eastern side uh of the continent kind of wrapping around Islas, and so you know various protocols that you would land in over there you're not sure where uh anything would be here and another another point is that no two markers of where you're landing are the same so people can't pick up on any pattern but it's also so that these pirates can't then turn back around onto emma like the knowledge of where all the goods are stored is very closely guarded um by kind of the the admiralty of Taema for lack of a better term um and they kind of distribute that information sparingly and you've heard rumors that they even change out coves and hideouts and drop locations periodically to make sure that there aren't cases of theft from a company based around theft Is it safe to say that this ship is basically, I guess, like a sitting duck, for lack of a better term, um, that there's really no hope for, in terms of... I mean, it's, no, it's, it, it's not a foregone conclusion that the ship will get attacked, um... You often, like, you know that you have often let ships pass by you without raiding them. Like, you will sail past one of these ships and, and wave and, you know, flying under stolen flags of other community shipments to mix up patterns, mix up timing, make it so that it isn't that set certainty of like this passage is dangerous on these times. Like all, all of it is subterfuge. All of it is smoke and mirrors of trying to make it seem like, well, we don't like, it's a chance every time, but if they, if you raid every single ship, they won't go that way. And you're out of the business that you run. If you destroy the ships, they can't ship more goods. So there is it's there's just as much a possibility that you can get all the way up to Aristal without ever encountering a pirate <clears throat> as it is if you to encounter pirates. It's it really is a toss-up, and you know, you without having like you you never reach the stage of being a captain or leading a ship or like having that but you're you you you're curious and you've nicked a few you know timetables and various things from your captains and from your own ships uh and so you would know that orders are given of when and where to attack and when and where to raid um so without having like that information it's impossible to tell whether or not this would this run is going to be a uh one in which they are attacked or one in which they are safe and fine to make their way all the way up okay uh seeing Seeing the goods now and kind of uh, knowing a little bit more about uh, knowing that it, knowing for certain that uh, if the ship does get attacked, that it it would be Tima. Um, I take out the rubbing of the map that I made from Tiresias's drawing, and I adjust the map of the path uh, even more. Uh, as in like you're what you want to lead this ship in a different direction or yes 
Okay. Uh, well, you know, uh, as you've seen over the past couple of weeks, like they have their big map, which is what um, Tiresias mm -hmm. used to draw their map. So you know that they are using their map as a way to navigate. And from the conversations you've had, you know that they are going to be running north um, in between Ilus and uh, Adenanta, kind of running up the Bay of Fate uh, before landings. It's, so it's not like they're using that map, like they have a line drawn out, like this is a path that they have taken often. Uh, and frequently, which is why they knew that these islands were right over here um, and knew that there was lodging and everything there. Um, so, I mean, you, if you want to change the course, you would go, you could go and you could talk to uh captain kudan and uh the it's not necessary it's not for the ship itself it's for something else okay then yeah you change the passage uh you change the the route of it um is there anything else you uh you do while you're down here um i just i make a note of the supplies um Tima doesn't have any markings or anything. Um, they make sure they leave no markings. Um, I go back to where Tiresias is and uh, I just kind of, I, I, I walk up behind, I still, I still don't reveal myself. I'm still like hidden, but I just say like, hey. Oh, there you are. What's going on? <laughs> he doesn't see anything. All he hears is is my voice. I'm still like completely hidden. <laughs> so I'm still here, mate. I I never left. So. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I I kind of uh, gathered you like to disappear and come back. I I just assumed you're thieving. Why are you thieving? That? Well, I no. feel like I feel like twenty percent of the time that we spent together, you've been drinking. 30% of the time you've been thieving and 50% of the time you've been running away from uh, Tima or Taema, whatever you call them. That sounded about right. A distribution. <laughs> Listen, some, sometimes people just don't, some people just don't like me. All right. I, I can't, I don't understand why. I, I'm, I, I'm just trying to live my life, you know? Mm. And also we're on a ship. I feel like there should be at least some sort of rum on a ship. Why is the rum gone? <laughs> uh, I mean, I agree. I mean, it gets cold on these boats in the ocean at night. Rum warms you right up. I know. There should be at least some some sort of hot beverage, you know, or at least some 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 sort of beverage around here. I love beverages. Uh, both I, of them um, be a perception check. Okay, let's hope this die stays good tonight. <laughs> Can I do some kind of check to see if I'm overhearing this, if it's like rousing me from my sleep? Uh, the ship is probably too far away for just a kind of casual, like, normal conversation gotcha. to be heard from the beach. I'm sleeping so peacefully. Um, Shiver begins to snore. Oh. Can we hear Shiver snoring? Uh, what'd you get? Yeah, I love the idea that I can't overhear their conversation, but they can hear me snoring from the shore. Can that just be <laughs> canon? That's very funny to me. Like, I won't be roused from my slumber because they're chit-chatting, but they will... Is that... Is that just me? It kind of sounds like Shiver snoring <laughs> real loud. That's good. <laughs> Saw on the log. What is Making the, the beach uh, bonfire. What the two of you roll for perception? 16 for me. 11 for me. Wait, can I roll for performance for my snoring? Is oh, my performance goodness. high? 
<laughs> performative snoring. It's like when you're trying to make your mom think that you're asleep. My performance is plus three. Can I? Can I see how well I'm snoring? Are you playing possum? <laughs> it rolled a nat twenty. Oh, no. Oh <laughs> my god. Please. See uh, you see out. Crit. Nice. I critted on snoring, y'all. I critted on snoring. Wow. Melina and Tiresias, you both hear in just oh, the loudest snoring you have ex ever experienced in your life. Uh, and Tiresias, you hear a little bit muted between the distance and the uh, the snoring. Uh, you hear shouting and sounds of merriment you hear a passer a mate uh from where your party went to on shore um <laughs> does selena hear it nope selena doesn't hear that about the booze oh, oh yeah i'm just gonna keep that to myself uh, do you hear oh, snoring oh, no. isn't that hilarious <laughs> she she's quite the loud sleeper there isn't she Sleeping through all the merry men. She must have been really tired from all that vomiting. Oh, no. Yeah, she did. She did vomit quite a lot. Yeah. She, I, and I, I kind of look, I look over the edge and I kind of still see some, some remnants <laughs> of the vomit just like oh, trailing off. <laughs> it's like stuck to the side of the boat. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've, I've not been on the boat before. <laughs> not that I can recall. Oh my god. I'm um, sorry, I was distracted. As she, her clip, that was as she says it in her, in her sleep while she's snorting. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm dreaming. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've not been on a boat before. <laughs> like dreaming of being seasick. It was really dramatic. <laughs> Killing a bunch of randos that just kind of came out of nowhere trying to kill me. It's like, whatever. Just another day on the job. <laughs> A boat. Class. I wonder if I do my want to go on a boat. armor class. I don't love this question. You're I sleeping in your say. armor, obviously. I am sleeping in my armor with my shield as my blanket. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to remember how my shield works. You don't get your special shield. delivery. You get, your, you get your armor. You don't get your shield. But I'm wearing my shield as my blanket. <laughs> Can no. I roll? You would say what he said. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Um. So I have to unequip it and see. Okay. So then it's eighteen. You can't get me. Whatever's trying to get me, you can't get me. I don't like the quiet in response to my confidence. You take no 17 points of piercing damage and from can, sand crabs. And can you make a uh, constitution saving throw? DC oh, what? 15? What? Wait, hold on. I don't have a token on the map, so I'll do it on my DNZ Beyond never been easier remember that your hit points are five more than they usually are because of my age From spell sand crabs no i just said we don't know crabs. from what yet oh oh um 17 one seven damage 17 piercing and i need you to make a dc 15 con saving throw i rolled 17 on the die so all right so you take it on snoring Poison, poison something. Ugh. You take five points of poison damage, and and as you wake up to the strike. Wait, I took I seventeen piercing, and then did I? I five also poison. Took Okay. Oh, God. And you two are not here. 
No, we're not. So you wake up to that figure standing over you and uh I'm like zooming in so hardcore. You look so mean. Oh wait, but the little like gray people. What's this little guy? That guy's cute. <laughs> okay. I should be mad right now because I just got hurt. So you're just like, oh. Can we uh, see all okay, this happening? Took... Uh... Yo, we have no healing. I just halved my HP while I slept. Because I was dead. we're gonna be seasick. stranded. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be stranded. Y'all are on a boat. Um can I oh can I do a survival check to see if I would have like caught that before it happened? Uh you were fully asleep and rolled a nat 20 on snoring, so <laughs> Shut up. Why did I do that? <laughs> that is the fairest response. <laughs> Fucking suck. I'm like, what's my survival? You're like, you natted on sleeping. <laughs> like, you're out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Damn it. All right. I have my HP while I slept. Oh, I'm so good at snoring. Damn. Help. <laughs> Send help. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Right. So go ahead and roll initiative shiver. I hear shiver abruptly stop snoring. Did I roll initiative two? <laughs> Uh, of all yes. the things we could have heard, that's what we heard. Yes, yes. yes. It was so me... <laughs> unusual that they heard it that if they stopped hearing it, they would notice. And I uh, think they yeah. get to roll with advantage. <laughs> I would say that as you stop hearing Shiver snoring, it uh, sounds of merriment cease. Yeah, you see by the fire, by the fire, you see Shiver surrounded by uh, a bunch Ooh. of people. Go ahead and either one of you roll me a uh, D4. This is how many rounds we are away, because I have spells that can cut the distance for Selena. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I rolled a two on my D4. You are two rounds away from getting there from the shore to the ship. And <clears throat> welcome back. When we left off, uh, Shiver was about to die. So let's pick up there. About, that's so dramatic. I have my health. I'm not about to die. But yeah, I need some backup. I need help. <laughs> top of the initiative. Um. Um. So the next attack against you, Shiver, bounces off your shield. You get it up in time to deflect, and now it is Selena's turn. You are on the boat. You have seen the people. Uh, accruing around where uh shiver is um and it is i your... start shouting i'm not snoring i'm not snoring it's not my I'm turn but snoring. can i say something very very short to selena i imagine you would have said it uh like you would be setting uh saying it as you noticed as you notice okay um Selena, if you stay here, I can get you there in a turn. In I, I don't know, I can get you there in a flash. 
Or I, might... turn, I mean, flash. I'm trying not to. I'm not trying not to use like game no, terms. No, 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 you no, know, no. it's very funny. <laughs> I don't want to be like delay your initiative so I can get you here this round. Instead if of you next. save your action as a bonus action, I can. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. But the gist yeah. is, stay close. Don't don't run off yet. All right, mate. I gotta get to that rum. <laughs> you see the rum now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let them take the rum. All right. And, and I mean, uh, yeah, we got to have Sheva too. Yeah. <laughs> so we are going to move Selena to 15 to act after Tiresias. Wonderful. And now... 16 goblins going before me. It is this one... They, this little guy runs up, takes a swing. Um, and you watch as their sad little sword comes down and bounces off of your plate armor. Ha <laughs> ha. Do I watch or do I go <laughs> and look away? Because I'm confident. <laughs> Oh, wait, I got my guys mixed up. Never mind. They don't do that. All right. That's uh, what I thought. <laughs> Just, I, I didn't think that. I didn't know. <laughs> That's what I thought. You... What are they? Because they're so cute, and I love their earrings. Like, I know they're the baddies, but... um. I don't know what their token uh, is exactly um, <clears throat> supposed to represent, but I thought the token was fun and cute, so I picked it. Um, love it. It's super fun and cute. I love it. But they Makes are. Not want to kill them. How about you do that anyway? <laughs> kill them anyway? Yeah. Kind of what I do. So yeah, I will. Don't worry about it. You see as this guy up top here pulls out where did it go? So many tabs. Um, pulls out a um, a cabbage that seems to have a bunch of stuff kind of jammed into it and you see as they pull it out they spin the cabbage and crush it between their hands oh no throwing it into the air and a bunch of cabbages split and start raining down upon you uh shiver can you make me a uh DC, oh. um can I know the DC before I say shield, or is that cheating? Oh, you, uh, shield's not for shaving throws, right? No, shield's only for attack rolls. Oh, right, right. Okay. I trust my die. Baby's been charging at 20. Let's go. <laughs> what do I have to beat? Uh, DC Don't forget, is... this is the chick who natted on snoring. DC. I. Ooh, that's. Um... Fourteen. Not a problem. Sixteen on the die. All right. So you take average damage. Eight. But I'm vegan. You take eight, eight points of bludgeoning damage as cabbage rains down upon you. Okay, I'm at 14 out of 44, y'all. I just woke up. I woke up like this. Sheesh. Um, we have a cabbage mage out there. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, it's somebody else's turn right now. Let us kill him. Ooh, good one. Oh, get it? Because they're like cousins. Let's ice this guy. 
All right, shiver it. Send your him turn. to Kale. No, that's a bad one. Let's take kale him. Take it back. Kale oh, him. There you go. <laughs> now we got it. My turn. Who's this son of a bitch in front of me? Can I do like a free? What the fuck is happening? I just woke up. Roll. Oh my god. And can it be free because I was so good at sleeping? You woke up so and I you're should have advantage on leaving that. Can I just like? Can I just be like, what's going on with this one person? Like, for free? Sure. That's enough. Uh, regardless of what you roll, you see that they pull their blade out of you, and you're being attacked by a bunch of people. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> all right. Here we go. <clears throat> You have the health potions, right? Or you have no? Yeah, you got one last week from the shop person, and so yeah, only got one. one. Only one. I thought you got like three of them. No, I only have one oh, in my inventory. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Wow. I have zero, so oh, that's pretty it. good. All right, I am going to um, use my bonus action to 1d10 plus 4 HP second wind. Second wind. Upon my waking up. So here's my d10. I natted on snoring. I better nat on my health. That's oh all I can gosh. say. So close. Um, Nine plus four. 13. So I did that. I've got... 13 to my health. Fucking A. <laughs> <laughs> it just sucks. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> so there's that. I am at a 27 out of 44. That was my bonus action. Yeah, the snoring was the second wind. My bad. Wasted my first my 20. 18 plus 5, so 23 hits it. Yep. This person in front of me, I'm hoping. Okay. Um, booming Blade. You brandish the weapon used in spells casting. Um, on the hit, it suffers the weapon's normal effects, and then it becomes sheathed in booming energy until the start of my next turn. If the target willingly moves five feet or more before then, the target will take 1d8 thunder damage. Um, okay. So it can't move unless it wants to take 1d8 thunder damage. And so right now, all I do is just like do the attack for my uh, rapier, which is a 1d8 plus five. Um, so seven plus five is 12, 13, 12, right? Yeah. How much booming blade? Okay. Um, booming blade doesn't mm -hmm. add more damage. It just, or does it? No, it doesn't. It just, um, if they move, if they take the one day. If the target willingly moves more than five feet, then it takes an additional one d8 that I have ready to roll, and I have it charging at eight. Um, but it just it just takes the damage that I said. All right, that's my turn. I was going to say a past turn, but that's Magic the Gathering and not D and T. You were all right, <clears throat> Tiresias. It is your turn. Wonderful. So you said two rounds away, which in my head is 120 feet. Can I work with that assumption for my spell casting? Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. Um, I am going to move forward 30 feet closer to the action so that it is only 90 feet away. And you jump into the water and swim. Oh, there's a there there's no game plank. You're on a boat. They took a little dinghy and sailed in. Oh, heck. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be in this fight. I'm going to teleport Selena 90 feet closer with Vortex Warp. You don't need to roll anything. It just happens. What it looks like, Selena is... No, no, no. 
it needs to be by choice. So Selena has to I'll choose, choose yes. to fail the save. Okay. <laughs> Selena did it. No, okay. Uh, so what, yes. <laughs> what only what only Tiresias and Selena see is like face kind of bends and folds. So where Selena is right now and where I want her to be momentarily fold and become one area. And Selena just steps forward and is now 90 feet closer to the action. And um, that's my turn. I'm going to stay on the boat gonna run in uh is gonna come down swing and miss on shiver and selena that is your turn wait okay. who just attacked me the guy in the hawaiian shirt Oh, the cutie pie? No problem. Thank you for your business. Nice try. Oh, I just realized he was wearing a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> I'm going to assume that this guy can't see me right now because it's dark. Uh, They didn't turn when you landed, so it's a seemingly safe assumption. Okay, so I'm going to run all the way over here. I think that was 35. Yeah, 35. Yeah, that was 35. Um, and I don't think I will be much more. Let's see. I think I can make a ranged attack. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll try to get a sneak attack. Onto Hawaiian shirt guy. All right, go roll for attack. Does a twelve hit? Twelve misses. Uh, can I use my bonus action to hide? Uh, yeah, go ahead, roll a stealth check. 19. Nice. You feel safely hidden. <clears throat> so, now it's time for little Goonie Man. He comes running in. Uh, this is really bad. And he fully misses. So now it is... is. I'm assuming, like, attacking me. Yes. Okay. I'm just assuming it could be area of effect. Nope. Okay. Uh, does a 21 hit? Who's it coming from? Uh, the per the person who stabbed you originally. Shield. All right. So, um, hold on. Twenty five AC. Yeah. Um, my A's. Um, let me change it on this. So I have it in the green right now. So it's twenty five AC. And that lasts until the end of my turn. You are armored up. Yeah. Um, so that's that turn. Cool. So now we are back. We are up to this guy. And more cabbages. You see that he pulls out um, <clears throat> a carrot Yay! this time. And it looks to be very similar to 
the cabbage and as he punches it into the ground and throws it into the air it once again splits and begins raining down but you see <clears throat> it will catch this person and this person um, in the blast, it seems like whoever is using veggie tables to cast spells doesn't care much about their allies. No, oh, little baby doesn't know how to use area of effect with meta magic. <laughs> uh, so go ahead. Uh, I need a dexterity saving throw again. Just a little chef. To be, what <laughs> is it, a 15 again? Yes. Got an 18 on the die. I think that was the same as last time. Uh, no, it was a 17 on the die last time. Either way, I win, you lose. <laughs> so you take five points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, as okay. come raining down and pelting you from above. And now do, it is. Do I automatically take the vegan feat by being an actual vegan where oh I don't take God. any damage from vegetables? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. All right. So it's my turn now? Yes. I'll do my usual then. Oh, yeah. Gonna booming blade um, attack the person that hurt me the most. Um, hold on. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna booming. I'll just do my usual thing. Sorry, that took so long to just do what I always do. All right, booming blade uh, at the person who hurt me the most. Damn, a nineteen plus. Five, so 24 hits I know hits because I hit with an 18 before um the damage is a d8 plus five yes eight on the die so 13 yes 13 um it doesn't stack right we're at a new turn so it's just like if he moves by feet I get to roll another D8. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Um, that's I'm playing a melee character. That's all I can do, huh? All right. Then I am done with my turn. This guy rolls around here uh and can't do anything else uh and that brings us to tiresias how much water between me and the shore um <clears throat> 90 60 90 60 ish feet okay it is gonna take me so so long to get to shore i'm not gonna be able to get on shore this combat so I'm gonna make a disadvantaged crossbow attack. And I'm do I see this guy from where I'm at? Is he doing any stealth or anything like this? Nope. He is straight up moving. He's getting a um question. So we don't have to count arrows or bolts for our theme. But what if the one of the magic items that I picked is a special crossbow bolt that can knock somebody over? Do I have to count those as I use them? Okay. Since those are magical, yeah. Then I'm going to use those because next level, the bow is not going to be useful for me. I'm going to do a walloping bolt attack, and I'm going to make it at disadvantage because I'm too far away. And we're looking at a 10. 10 unfortunately misses. All right, my turn is over. We have that per. They are going to take a swing. And they are going to miss. I have not been rolling well on attacks tonight. So, Selena, that is your turn. 
Um, what would you like to do? I'm gonna. I'm gonna walk over here to this campfire. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put out the campfire. And then I'm gonna walk back over behind this tent. I want to shoot at this goblin or whatever this Hawaiian shirt thing is here. All right, so I'll say it's a bonus action to put out the fire, so go ahead and attack. Twenty four to hit. Uh, twenty four hits. And I want to do a sneak attack. Yep. Definitely did not see you. It looks like I put a sensor bar on the fire, but I try to say that one's put out. <laughs> Don't look That's at it. Fine. That uh, that fire is not covered by parental uh guidance, oh so it needs to be hidden. <laughs> Uh, 14. All right. 14 damage. 14 damage. So as you go and you put out the fire and you shoot him, you see that the guard here, this one here, and the one you shot, take notice that something is happening over in the area which you are at. Nice. Okay. And then... I think I, I think I have five more feet of movement, so I want to try and move. Um, I think I was, I was 25, 30, 35. No, that was, sorry, that was an extra. So I'm right here. That was 35 feet. Um, so I am. Yeah. I think that's all I can do. Uh, Ty super quick, Tiresias, was there anything, uh, before like, am I? Did I have like mage have armor? Mage armor on, yeah. Okay, but... mage armor and the aid spell. So your eight, your max HP and your current HP are five more than they usually are in your armor classes, sixteen. And you're not wearing your leather armor. If you accept the major armor, you're not wearing the leather armor. Okay. So you just got your outfit on it. So my... Okay, so in my notes I have... So my major armor AC is 16. Correct, yep. Okay. So yeah, that's my turn. Uh, with your shield up, there's no way this person could ever hit you. Uh, so... We're, well, I guess nat 20 could hit. Uh, not nat 20. So it's back around to the top of the round. And they miss. I'm going to go here. So he noticed something was happening and is going to take a shot. And Selena, I need you to make a dex saving throw. Take a shot or take like a chance? Take a chance. Why do I okay. feel, yeah, I feel like somebody's going to die this episode. I'm nervous. All right. So you don't see the magic to what's happening, but all of a sudden you start getting pelted by gold coins um, and take, where are my dice? I kind of, I kind of like it. <laughs> take uh, three points of bludgeoning damage. 
Can I just like scoop up the coins as I'm getting pelted by them? Uh, you can, and then it, the, as you scoop them up, it turns into dust. Oh. Three, you said three points? Three points. Well, I read that spell wrong, but, you know, that's what you get for not reading. All right. Um, <laughs> reading is fundamental. <laughs> Shiver, your turn. All right, this scaredy cat has had two turns to move five feet and take D8. So either he's a big baddie or he's really trying to take me out. Or why would either he way, necessarily move away and take Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so either he's tough or he's scared is what I'm saying. Mm. Okay, how many? I get three opportunity attacks if I move to anywhere other than, like, if I move over here, I get three opportunity attacks. Yep. Okay, I'm going to cast Ice Knife at first level. I create a shard of ice and I fling it at one creature within range, which is 60 feet to 5 feet. I'm flinging it at Dude Bra. Um, I will make a ranged spell attack against that target on a hit. The target will take 1d10. Um, piercing damage, hit or miss, the shard will then explode. So me... And this other dude will need to um, succeed on a deck save or take 2d6 damage. So this is really risky. And by who do you mean by dude bro? Yeah. Um, I'm hitting dude bro here. Blue okay. dude bro. So this and me need to make a... Actually, you know what? I'll... Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I move here, I take only an opportunity attack from him and not the other one. No, you take one and from then this I'm... person and this person. Okay, if I move here, I take only an opportunity attack from him. Yes. Okay, I do that. So what's the opportunity attack? Um, 21 to hit. I'm still on shield. Nope, no, I'm not. I'm ending your turn, I think. Okay, it hits me. For six points of damage. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So then what I do is a ranged spell attack. Not 20. Uh, Not just on barbs. snoring. No. Who's Silvery Barb scene? You see the person up on the, the hill. Mage? In and this one right here, right here. Yeah, that one. Um, if I action surge, can I do the exact same thing? Well, silvery barbs just means you roll again and take the lower roll. So you could still hit. Oh, okay. Nineteen. It's payback for critting on fucking snoring. Okay, that was a waste of my time. Okay, so 19 plus... Um, 5, 24 Hits. for Ice Knife. 
Um, 1d10 piercing damage on the target, which is the one who's hit me. So nine or six. Ah, oh, it's a six. Um, so, so six, six damage. piercing damage. On, on the one who's been hitting me. This one. This one right here. Then you would take the ice knife damage too. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Oh no, you're right. You're right. It's five five foot. Dex no, I would have to them, the same. Yeah, they have to both save. What's so the same? it takes it takes the six no matter what. Mm -hmm. This little baddie. Oh no, the cute guy that I loved. It's dexterity. What's the number? Yeah. Um Goodness. the target each creature within five feet must succeed on a deck save throw your spell save dc what's that it is 13 so you're not, not very, very intelligent what's your intelligence modifier plus three okay that's right then 13 is right uh they rolled a natural 17 and a natural 18 to save. No extra damage then. All right. So that's just the way that life is sometimes. Um, yeah. All right. That's my turn. I just am here. Where did the other potions you got last week go? Selena. Literally used them and then I gave them to Selena because we have no healer. <laughs> I have two. So this guy noticing that the fire went out starts walking over to three. See Selena, so he'll stop here. And Uh, does a 10 hit? No, it does not. Uh, wow, two bad rolls, two misses, uh, on an attack, two attacks. Oh, god, and now Tiresias. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go into the bargaining phase. Please, DM, can I please roll Arcana checks to ignore the range on my spells? Because <laughs> I don't have distance spell meta magic. Why do you have none to make of my fun stuff can you reach. like that? <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead. Give me an Arcana check just to see if it's possible, or for like a specific instance, like. See if it's possible. Okay, let's roll that. I'll let the better die here. Uh, okay. Um, that's a 16 arcana. Is it possible? Yeah, it would be at disadvantage, similar to the crossbow, but you can uh push past the limits of your magic to, uh to try and reach out further. Okay, uh, I have, I'm going to hold that thought. I am, Tiresias is curious, is watching this all go down. These guys are not the pirates that I've heard about. Because the pirates that I heard about go for cargo, they don't, they don't hurt people, they come in fast, they take what they want, they get out. These people came in, snuck into a party, specifically stabbed Shiver, and have started a fight, and... I want to know, like, would it cost me an action to roll an insight to see, like, what Tiresias is thinking about all of that stuff? Uh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. You can roll an insight check if you want. Is it my action to do so, or is it just... I'll give you two for free. Okay. <laughs> Not good, y'all. Um... Yeah, that's a six. I don't know unsure you you know it's been been a long time since you have traveled through this uh passage here between tide and aristotle and 
I think the last time that you traveled here coming south, you didn't run into any issues on your your journey. So I think you're you're stumped. Okay. And then follow up question. If I I've if I want to cast web outside of its normal range, that's not like an attack roll. I would do a disadvantage. Does that mean that the people would have advantage trying to avoid getting stuck in it? Yeah, I would say that the web itself is not as strong. The tensiles, okay. don't, they're not as sticky. So they get advantage. Okay. Um. Well, I have nothing else to do, so I'm going to try that. I would like this to be the center. Uh, a little bit, one square higher. Yep. There. And on their turn, they roll for it with advantage. It's a dex to avoid getting stuck. <laughs> All right. And it's at the start of their turn? At the start of their turn, they roll a dex save with advantage, and they defeat a 14. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Uh... uh, no. Stuck in a web. Yay! Okay, incapacitated. And now Selena AOE comes to the rescue. You have this uh, man standing in front of you. He took two swipes at you with a large sword, and you deftly dodged out of the way of both of those uh, attacks. All right. I say, uh, hello. How are you? They oh. just stand there. You're, you're a chatty one, aren't you? Uh, I, I say, uh, what, what are you doing here? <laughs> He's just, he's just not, like, he's just don't, like, just not want to, doesn't want to talk at all. Uh, okay, so, I guess, uh, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna try and stab him, since he's right here. Roll for attack. A 13 to hit? Uh, 13 misses. Can I... I don't know if this is possible. Uh, can I try to pickpocket? No. You didn't go for the thief subclass. Is that a thing? Yep. In combat? Cool. For... Yep. Fast See, hands. Fast bonus hands. action. Okay. Um. Dang it. Okay. So. I. Since that didn't work. Uh, I am going to. Use my. Uh, bonus action. And let's see. I am going to Misty Step uh, right here. All right. Up on the hill. And before I do, um, uh, Right whenever I miss, I say, oh, well, done. Well, it was nice talking to you. And I do a little wave, and I just poof, right uh, in front of him. And I missy step over behind the tent. All right. 
Do you, you do you want to use any additional movement, or is that are you going to end your turn there? Uh, I will move. A little bit this way. Um, if I move right here, can the mage see me? Uh, if they looked over, probably, but they haven't. They their focus seems to be over here in this area. Um, that's where still kind of focusing on where the fire had uh, gone out. Okay, then uh, I'll end my turn there then. All right. This guy also fails. They're saved. And now one more. Uh, they rolled a natural 20 on their save to not get stuck. Um, you used Ice Knife last turn, right? Not Booming Blade? Okay. Um, so they're going to... Now I put that on the wrong layer. Uh, gold circle rolled a nat 20 or blue blue guy? Uh, blue man group rolled a natural 20. Okay. Is the other one stuck? Uh, these two are fully stuck. Oh, yeah. Um, Attacks made on stuck characters are made with advantage. Going to take a step out just in case. And going to miss, not rolling well on attacks. Um, Bummer. This one here, the, this guy, not knowing that Selena left, is going to... Pull out one last piece of cabbage and launch it. Unfortunately, only hitting his person because he doesn't know that Selena left. <laughs> All right, I won't shield. And Shiver, it is your turn. Yeah, I'll take my opportunity attack. I'll take my full movement to move like this direction, like out into the right. Does a 22 um, which would hit? Be... It does. Hmm. It does. Four points of damage. Okay. Is that the only hit against me? Yeah, because the other guy failed to save and can't move. Okay, so my full movement without a dash is 30. Mm -hmm. Which would be what? Like this square up here. Um, so that's my movement. I have a crossbow. Eighty range feet to uh, hit this person here, right here, this guy. Yep. So I will roll. That's a nat 20. Not just snoring, bitches. Also, one hit to some kind of bad guy. 
That means I have one more nat 20 for this game if my dice roll the way they go. Um, that was my crossbow light. How do I, do I roll damage twice for a nat 20? Uh, Are you just... a 20? Yeah, it was a nat 20. It was my second one. One for snoring, one for hitting whoever this is. Uh, you, whatever the damage dice is, you roll that die twice. And then I only do the plus once. Yes. Damn, bad roll. Good roll. Nine plus two is 11. All right. Um, so that's movement, action. Uh, bonus action, like I have nothing to do. Okay. I am done with my turn. All right. The person this guy was fighting right away. They have no idea. Five, ten, fifteen. So they move and dash. Teresius. Um. I could use my spells. It's just they have advantage or I have disadvantage. Right. Okay, cool. Um, I am going to cast Vortex Warp. It is a, a DC 14 Charisma saving throw with advantage from Mr. Blue Elf and Mr. Man here, the two that are right next to the web. I'm going to attempt to teleport them into the web. Can you not Vortex Warp yourself? or I cannot Vortex Warp myself. That is what I can only do to other people. I would have been in there immediately if I could do it to myself. This is my last second level spell slot, and I'm going to use um, a sorcery point. Uh, two sorcery points, because it's a second level spell. So both, targeting both of them? Yeah, targeting both of them. They both have to roll a DC 14 charisma saving throw with advantage because of the distance thing. Top guy. Oh, sorry, not not charisma, constitution. Top guy rolled a seventeen. This guy rolled a sixteen. Okay. And I can't silvery barbs because you can't do a silvery barbs with like a disadvantage situation. Okay, that's my turn. Uh, what is it? It's an action? An action and a strength check. So not an athletics check, but a strength check, DC 14. Okay, this guy saves. Um, they get to there. Selena, your turn. All right, uh, I would like to sneaky sneak um, Can I hide? Or actually, no, can they? I don't want to do that. Uh, if I move right here, Sorry, if I move right here, yeah. Can they see me? Can they see me? Um you see that the uh, couple of them are looking that way. You can give me a stealth check to see if you can kind of use the shadows as best as you can. It is night, so it is low light. A 10 um 
as you move and you get up to shiver you have a feeling that you clock one of them uh, eyeing your movement but you are up next to shiver i say hello love how are you Are you um, trying to yoink things from my pocket right now? Uh, no, that, that's not the case. Um, okay. I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna uh, put something in your pocket, uh, and I hand her and a potion of healing. That is okay. Does that is that in my help? pocket? uh yeah i i very discreetly uh put put a potion of healing in her pocket does that count as a bonus action or object interaction object please interaction. uh to hand her a potion we can call it object interaction okay yeah because ian you're gonna kill us if you don't get us these little things <laughs> i'm just saying we don't have a healer what about a guilty you can be party ruthless, <laughs> but if you kill your whole party then you have nothing to dm so <laughs> you gotta give us these little things <laughs> i'm teasing you i'm just being sarcastic with you take it up with your party selena hasn't been attacking very much i mean she's I been to say, oh. like, I've, been sh I've been shooting crap what <laughs> You've been stealing been things and you put something in my pocket. I'm ready for you to do some damage. I can't help that I I'm miss. only the tank insofar as if I'm snoring at a nat 20, your bitch is asleep. I wake up to half my health. I'm doing my best. I appreciate the healing potion in my pocket. I appreciate you, DM, that it's an object interaction. I'm assuming as an object interaction, they can down it for the full roll, right? As your action on your turn, yeah. Yeah, as a bonus action right now for nothing. Damn, okay, so you're good was... at your job. That was right here, so it's five. Selena also could have used her action to give you the full potion. No, I know. Selena's like living the fantasy right now of the story. I, listen, you know. there are some things that I forget about, and then there are some things that I just don't remember, and some things I don't know. So I'm feigning ignorance some on this turn. Forget. Okay. <laughs> Being ignorant. It's the choice right now. We've got character development coming, I'm hoping. There is. Yeah, I just can't tell you what it is. I've heard, I've seen, I've seen in the Discord. Okay, so I'm gonna move. Sorry, I'm trying to like count. Um, so I think if I move right here, that's my full character movement. Mm hmm. Thirty five. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh. So I'm gonna do that, and then I um, I I hand shiver the potion, and I'll be like, yeah, uh, use it wisely, love. And then I just uh sneak away, I'm like bleeding out of half of my body. And I go, sure, <laughs> yeah, I will. I'll I use just, it wisely. Yeah, next <laughs> chance I can. Thanks. <laughs> you use it wisely love i don't i don't use it for her i just let i let her use it and i just walk away just and blood. i uh <laughs> i uh i'm gonna try and stab uh the vegetable mage here mm -hmm. and stab the cabbage man from the last airbender yes My cabbages! <laughs> that's that's immediately who I thought of whenever you started yelling out cabbages. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to see if I can use a sneak attack. Yep, you're one-on-one. -on -one. Nobody else is around you. Does a 15 hit? 
Uh, 15 does hit. Ooh. Don't forget you can re-roll your damage die if you don't like it. Oh, yes, I can. And I don't think I like it either because that was kind of a low roll. But I have to take the re-roll no matter what. So if it's yeah. a lower roll, I have what's to... The, what's the die size that you roll? What is it? Uh, let's see. I can re-roll one of the attack's damage die. Well, what's the damage die? Is it a D8 or a D6 or a D10? Oh, it, it is a... Let's see, for the rape, it's a D8 a plus D8. three. Mathematicians say a five is the average roll, so you're well below average. I say well, go I roll, I rolled a five for this Ooh. roll, so. Are you going to risk it? <laughs> you still have your full sneak attack, too, so. Oh, I forgot about the sneak attack. So the sneak oh, you attack... can re-roll one of the, oh my gosh. No, so the sneak attack, I actually rolled full damage on the sneak attack roll. Damn. So if I want to roll the the dam, I would have to re-roll the rapier damage if I want to re-roll that Don't one. Don't risk it. That's a I'm... good roll. Five and a six. Or a five. Right? A five and a twelve. So it's it's a only six one. You can re-roll one damage die. So it would never make sense really to do the sneak attack because that's a bunch of die. So it only yeah. makes sense to ever really do it with the rapier. Well, if you roll like a one on any of the damage die, you should re-roll it. But you didn't. I mean, I rolled 17 total, so should, do you think good. I should keep it? Keep that and add your decks. Yeah, that's really good. That's really good. 17 total damage overall, so. Yeah. All so, right. Did you add your decks? Yeah, that's that's overall. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Nice. That's so good. <laughs> it's coming out of the shadows. Like, <laughs> So, little man does not save. They are still stuck in the web. Yay! Use the full action. This guy. Oh. oh, shoot. I can't move. Never mind. I can't move out of the way of that because I used all my movement. Uh, it doesn't matter because they rolled bad. Okay. Uh, the dude in front of you, um, where did I put it? Uh, he takes out a, uh, ladle <laughs> that he has, looks like, uh, for like stirring stew, um, and... Are we just killing locals? Like, you see God, that so some <laughs> magic uh, wraps around it and a wow swings and horribly misses with his ladle. Uh, Shiver, that is your turn. Ladle. So cute. Oh, okay. I'm for my full action doing this whole like potion thing, which is what I just I get the full amount without having to roll for it. Yeah, you get the max. So I think okay, and um, it was a potion of healing. Two yeah, four plus two what? would be yeah. So it's, you get ten points of healing. Okay. Um, where's me? Where's my? Oh, here I am. I gotta zoom in. Sorry, y'all. The internet here is not as good as it claimed to be. All right. I cool. Like I'm back World twenty is rough on laptops. You know, at least it's working on Chrome now. It was good. not for 
you know, a very long time. All right, yeah. so I use my action to do a healing potion to get up to less than half my health. Um, what is happening on the battlefield right now? We've got Selena. We've got Selena. Um, Selena gave the potion to me. Yeah. Wow, that's growth, baby. Love to see it. Character growth, yeah. Wow. Tyrese has noticed that. We're <laughs> noticing it, yeah. It's noted. I'm not going to tell um, you how many more I have on my person, but... I, no, I just... exactly. But it's still, you know, one is more than none. Mm. Even That's the math, noticed, baby. Yeah. <laughs> That's math. The baddie sound, we're like, ooh. That's growth. The baddies put, I, put their weapons I down. Honestly, and they like... I want to like anti tank and I want to like run away. Um, but can I see like who was at the lowest hell? Person most blood at. Yeah, I'm like, where's the blood? Um, I just ordered some vegetables. I'm new so... to this. I don't care. I don't know these people. Like, you see, kill if I can, run away if I can is where I'm at. You see a lot of blood. A lot of them aren't looking amazing. The person who's been hitting me specifically, I have a personal vendetta against. Doesn't this is going to be a huge best. spoiler. He what? Doesn't look the best. None of them look incredible. <laughs> All right, this is going to be crazy. I feel like hitting him because he hit me. Right? Karma That's movie. crazy. That's Nobody karma. saw that coming. That's just how it is sometimes. Okay, so my action was to drink a potion to get up to less than half my health. Uh, do I even have like something I can do? Action surge, another potion. <laughs> like that's what I'm thinking. You that know, would I have not one be other terrible. potion. I, mean, I honestly think I'm gonna do that. Literally, I started my turn in this combat doing my second wind because I was at half health. I think like we just need to get this all far of our into this episode. To shiver. And just say you take the damage and heal yourself. That's what you do for the party. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a healer. We yeah, have exactly. a tank, but at what cost? Yeah. Like I'll take the damage till I die, and then y'all are shit <laughs> out of luck. Literally. All right, I'm going to action surge and just like literally take the one health potion that I have left and get another um ten to my health. And I'm not going to use my movement or anything. And now I'm at uh, 32 out of... Pretty good. Do I still have your thing that you gave me? It doesn't add to what Four. your current is, but your maximum would still be five higher it's than what 49 it is. versus it's, 44. Exactly. Yeah. So yes. out of 49. All right. Cool. So my turn was to use my big action surge moment to stay out of the way of danger and take two healing <laughs> and scene <laughs> y'all we need to check in with Sophia and be like hey how you been <laughs> what do you feel like doing lately like do you want to be a healer for our party like shit <laughs> literally though we're not going to make it. <laughs> All right. Ian, I got to say, you are delivering on being a um, ruthless DM, and I love to see it. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh-oh, Selena. Um, Love to see it. All right, come on, we can do this. Selena, you take 
nine points of slashing damage. Damn, was that good of an attack roll? Oh, no. Um, hmm. Ian, it does make sense for my character to be able to use Silvery Barbs, because that can't have a disadvantage mechanic added onto it, right? Okay. Second attack misses. Tiresias. Um, then for now, I'm going to make um, a magnified gravity attack. And it's going to affect uh, this person, this person, and this person. Uh, but nobody else is in, is in potential range for it. So those three with advantage are going to roll let me see here real quick dc 14 constitution saving throw and if they succeed they're going to take half damage i'm going to roll the damage for that nice at only this one saved okay everybody else rolled poorly my sakura Rain, die, are failing me. Okay, then um, the people who failed the save, they take seven force damage and their, their speed is cut in half on the next turn. Um, and then the other one is going to just take a, a three damage, seven rounded down. Seven, seven and a half, right? three damage mm -hmm. the other one and it can move just fine um objects that aren't being worn or carried are heavier and weighed down until this turn of next turn i don't think that's really relevant but it is cool so i just noticed that and um that is my turn actually wait i have one more question is there like another boat another dini um because i'm thinking like it, i'm thinking like if i can just row halfway to shore my magic becomes way more effective yeah yeah we'll say there is one i hadn't thought of whether or not there would be a second before so do i have to like use my movement to go down to the where the boat is because if if it's about I am, saving my I am, movement, I would be down to take falling damage to get there faster. <laughs> if it's I imagine damage. that I imagine that you're probably right on the edge. Um, so we'll say you can just jump ten feet down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, I jump down and I boat as fast as far over as I can. And then that's gonna be my turn. It, it what is getting in the boat and moving am i now like on my next turn going to be in a better position for my magic or am i already in a better space actually better question how many feet am i away specifically because the spells care about feet uh we will say you are from where everyone is mm-hmm That's not what I need. Uh, we will see. You are about 80 ish feet from where everyone is at the very top of the map. At the very top? Okay. I'm, so, like, I'm 80 feet away from Shiver, 75 from Selena. Oh, sorry. Or... Here. You're about 80 from where Selena and okay. Co are here so that's 80 feet away okay okay that's my turn thanks for answering my questions uh selena you notice that as the magic happens the people around you start looking even worse um Miss on the swing. I cannot roll for anything. Yay. Mm. Selena, your turn. 
<laughs> All right. Oh, we've got a party over here now, it looks like. Nobody um, looks happy to be at this specific party. There's a lot of blood and a lot of amplified gravity. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna, I'm still gonna try to stab old, old cabbages there. Not his cabbages. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go in for the snicky snake. Uh, because you are no longer one on one, you do not get the sneaky sneak. Oh, yeah. Well, I rolled a seven anyway. Uh, unfortunately, seven does not hit. I suppose it's nice to know that as a you know, it's not just me that's rolling very low tonight. Mm -hmm. Communally, I'm so glad I changed that different d20 because I'm like actually rolling above 10 now. Yeah, my, I don't my... think my problem is the rolling. <laughs> I think the party's imbalanced. Yeah. And I don't know what's going on. I think the tank should know what's going on. I'm learning. My hit dice rolls have not been great tonight. Don't at be all. clueless. And also yeah. the tank. It's a bad, bad formula. <laughs> the I don't know what's going on. Guess I'll fight. I'm almost dead. Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's a really funny party. I've never been a part of a party like this. It's like, what do we do? <laughs> I feel like we'll get there, you know? <laughs> we learn so we much live. every fight. Even from the if I people, live, we do. Yes. <laughs> Is it possible for me to Misty Step inside? Of a tent. I think Misty a step is a point you can see. You have to see it, but yeah, so, like maybe roll perception and see if you can see through the tent twice. opening. Oh, twice a day? I can do it twice. It's proficiency oh. bonus per day. Yeah. Because right now. Uh, but also, you can roll to see if you can see the inside of the tent because tents have <laughs> openings. There's maybe flaps. it has a mesh window. <laughs> <laughs> there are flaps you can, can roll I, for the if flaps. i imagine the inside of a tent in my head can i see it <laughs> oh you can God. see so there are windows on the side you know like there's a like roll for perception and then do misty step okay yeah oh, oh there's there, okay so like okay hear hear me out like i know it's a stretch but like okay if you zoom in on this map right okay see right. see like the, the little patch on I like the, the very back of the tent see see how I there's see like little, those little stitches right mm. yeah so like i didn't even have to roll i got a nat 20 on following what you're talking about <laughs> so what you're what you're telling me is you want to try to miss the step and abandon your friend again well she's healed now <laughs> she's healed i uh, helped i helped and now i'm trying to help myself by not die see if i die then everyone's screwed right because then i just can't do anything i'm paddling okay? right I'm paddling. this I is on character this is on character <laughs> it's happening it's very uh, to character the only visible spot is right here in the front there aren't windows you can miss the step around uh, Ian, it and run Ian. In. Ian. You're gonna kill us all. Let us choose our coffin. Okay. <laughs> okay. If I misty step to the front of the tent, can they see me go inside the tent? You can give it. You could do a, a stealth check as you land and roll. I'll 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 wing it. Yeah. I'll I'll roll, I'll roll for that. Yeah. I'll go for it. I'll do it. Okay. Twenty-two stealth check. You feel pretty good about that. Cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do my little my little misty misty mist, and I am going to 
that's uh that's all of the misty steps or sorry the traveler step that i can do (laughs) (laughs) because i have to take a long rest before i can do anything else of that and then i will and i'm just gonna (laughs) dip right in here oh my god and uh I'm going to, let's see. I'm going to take, I can't, for some reason I can't brain. Uh, Relatable. I mean, oh, that's only seven health. Okay. So I'm actually fine. I don't want to, I don't want to take a health potion just yet. Um, you also used your action and bonus action, so you don't have the action economy to oh, oh, take okay. action oh, right yeah. now. So I'm literally just hiding oh, right, cool. right now. Gorgeous. Just inside the tent. Yep. I'm inside uh, the tent. What is inside the tent, by the way, now that I'm here? The crap uh, the crew. <laughs> be a bed, some, uh, some linens. Is there anything worth taking no no okay unless you want some bed sheets no not really (laughs) that's my turn well they didn't save in a shocking turn of events um wonderful 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 your friend speed is cut in half because of magnified gravity 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Mm-hmm. They pull out. Oh, they rolled a nat 20 on their light crossbow. Oh, rough. I'm not going to play their nat 20 alert for bad guys it just doesn't feel right a little bit rude but (laughs) fair i just can't in good conscience celebrate that (laughs) but you're celebrating me no no i'll celebrate you when you're 20 is a 20 no matter how stupid the snoring 20 I celebrated it. Yeah, the snoring 20s, the snoring probably ahead on me. You've heard of the roaring 20s? Roaring 20s. Yeah. You take nine points of piercing damage from the. Use me, yeah. Is the U directed at me? The U is directed at Shiver. Your best friend is back. And it's a gnat, so there's no point in doing it. Um, so I took how much? Nine. I rolled bad. Yeah, you did. Uh, my cabbage man. The this, this, this spell didn't hit him, no? Nope. Nope. This guy is slowed down. Yeah. Cabbage man comes running up, ladle in hand. Uh, doesn't hit a 20 AC. And, Not many do. <laughs> yeah, it is your turn. It's really hard to hit Shiver's you, but turn. when you do hit, that's where the damage comes. <laughs> Um, it's hard to hit me, but when you do hit me, it causes damage. Is that what a you said? A lot. He says he rolls well. Yeah, because it's like you—you you have an incredible. It's very monk. It's very monkish. You have a ton of AC. Yeah. And a ton of no health. melee characters. I choose them when I stressed, and then I always regret playing them. <laughs> um. They work if you have a healer. 
They yeah. really don't. If yeah. you don't have a healer, my character's fucking broken. I don't care how much damage I can take. At some point, I have to retreat. Take a couple levels of Barbarian and Rage, and then you're taking half damage everywhere. I know, but this is the thing. Like, I'm trying you... to not yeah. multi-class, and there's a reason yeah. why I'm multi-class, and I'm not, like, you know, trying to, like, power up Eldritch stuff. Fighter it's like, anyways. there are just bad characters in certain parties, so. Okay. Um, Shiver has a turn, and no area of effect spells. Not even, like, a beam to shoot through all the bronies that line up to hit me. <laughs> sort of stupid. I should have that. Um... How about I take one opportunity attack and I just like dash away like off the battlefield? They can follow you, right? I mean, yeah, but not this turn. You can, yeah, if you want, you can dash. Yeah, why don't we run? Right. We don't know who these guys are. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. The captain and right. the crew are nowhere to be seen. I, I don't have a know boat anything. That's coming to the shore. My character coming into this, yeah, I had one fight where I fought with these people. All I've seen is Tiresias and Selena don't get along. Okay. I can't I be on a I boat because I vomit. You know, like, I did my best, but I started at half health. I've stayed at half health. I have no reason why I would stick around in this battle. Um, I'll take one opportunity attack, and I'm going to dash off the battlefield and see what happens. I've never done that. But I'm trying it right now. On their South. opportunity attack. They crit? They miss. Okay. Uh so South then I'm just gone. Is is away, right? Like down is closer yeah. to the ship. Okay. So my dash is what? Um 60 feet, feet 60 down feet. on the map. Um I've so literally far. never done this before. So 60 feet down would be here. So, what, here, I think I said? Yeah. Um, I've already action surged to heal myself yeah. to, like, less than halfway. So, yeah, I'm retreating. I have no reason to stick around and be the yeah. target of this. Yeah. Is right. that my turn? Yeah, wow. Okay, that's my turn. We need another person in our party. <laughs> they give chase, but they were hit by the spell and they can't move as quickly. Nice. Tiresias. Uh, I yell, hmm. I'm not going to worry about languages. I'm just going to yell a comment. Get to the shore! Get to the shore! Um, how far closer to the shore can I get without using my action? Uh, I would say you could probably get to the shore um, without an action, just as a movement. Okay. Um... I will get to the edge of the shore. Um, how far away are Selena and Shiver from me at the edge of the shore? Uh, you don't know where Selena is. Okay, for sure. And Shiver. Shiver is probably. That's not the right one. Shiver is probably a sprint, a movement action away. So uh, 60 feet? Uh, probably 30-ish. 30, okay. Um, okay, then I am going to 
use my bonus action to convert three of my la of my four remaining meta magic or sorcery points into another second level spell slot. And I'm going to prepare an action. I feel like Shiver is covered. As soon as I see Selena, I'm going to vortex warp her into the boat. So if I see Selena, then I'm going to vortex warp her into the boat. And that will be my turn. Five, ten, fifteen, thirty, fifty-five, sixty. It's where they get on their dash. Selena, it is your turn. So I hear Tiresias yell, and I kind of peek outside of the tent to see where the enemies are. Uh, if you peek your head out, <laughs> I think you can see, you see this guy caught in the web, and I think, based on, I'll say you can say that person and this person. Those are the only three you can see. Okay. Um, I'm going to make a dash. Yeah, I'll make a dash. And you get... Do you... You feel me trying... You, you basically see the earth, like, move, and you could, if you want to, willingly take a step into the boat, um, if you want to, because my vortex warp. You can choose to fail and, and go into the boat automatically, if you want to. Selena. Yeah, I choose to go into the boat. So say you're down here in the boat. I'm just hey. saying the boat is off screen. <laughs> they got out. Oh. And they sprint. <laughs> How long does the slow last? The it just, oh, they're 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 fast again, both of them. Okay. It was until my next turn. 15, 20, Cabbage man coming back with a fury in his ladle. <laughs> uh, no, doesn't hit with the ladle. Shiver, that is your turn. Um, opportunity attack dash. Ladle misses. Shocking that a spoon <laughs> would not be a great uh, melee weapon. What? But it's a ladle, not a spoon. Are you sure? <laughs> Pretty sure. Isn't the reach like 20 feet? Oh, okay, uh, my dash is... So you I'm get, off the field you now. Get to the boat. Yeah. So we will put you down here, say you're on the boat. Okay. And then five, 10, 15, 20. Chase. There we go. Tiresias, I imagine you push off. Yeah, like immediately. <laughs> Action dash. <laughs> Yeah, so you row the dinghy back to the boat and hook it back up and climb back on the ship. The boat is far enough out and you don't see those people swimming. You see them moving just further inland away from the shore. Um, 
Where's the crew? Land Where's the crew? <laughs> They're on yeah. shore. They're you on shore. Them walk up into the forest. Sorry. Yeah. The people who are fighting us were the crew. No. No. no where's no, the no. crew of our ship? They we're went still on shore. land. We never they came across them in shore. the battle. We're protecting them. I'm so oh. confused. At we ran very... away. Yeah. We, we were, were retreated. To protect... We were supposed to be protecting them. We retreated. Where were they? Here's the They're thing, on... you all. Here's what happened. I'm gonna meta game. Ian shifted a lot in his seat. It was very uncomfortable when you two said that you stayed on the ship. Yeah, and he was like, you. there's rum. There's rum on no, the I blame on you. The, I blame you camp. both. No, um at the beginning. Yeah, it just happened how it happened, and we retreated. So they're there, we're on a ship. It's whatever. You we know? are the worst hired like, hands if ever. You, you tell me like geographically <laughs> paint a mind picture for me of what happened like give me a little so we're the, not getting paid first of all be, so the be, before dead, the though. combat began the crew went ashore and with and shiver went with them shiver stopped at the beach the party went further into a little kind of camping community hut thing that they told you about existed in there and people in this the area we were on. stop and ship so it's and all of our their fault. ship and they go up into this little area to camp because it's a nice way to get off of the ship you don't so you're not having to sleep on the ship for the whole journey okay. um and so they climbed up there the two of you fault. stayed on the ship to watch over the goods shiver went to shore but but she opted to stay closer to the ship just in case while the crew went further up into essentially this like cabin in the woods type right. location um so who slept the best and then so the bad guys that we just ran away from are now running after the crew who are further up in the woods because we you were in the same direction saw them you saw them walk into the woods. You didn't see them yeah. like run or sprint or take off. You saw them just kind of move off in the direction you saw the crew go a while ago. Cool. So we fucked up. Okay, because here's what here. I thought. Here's what we I really thought happened. Up. And this is going to be a very different story from what Ian told. So I thought that the crew was like a little bit away from the shore. And that Shiver was like there because I heard Shiver snoring and I heard people carousing and talking about rum. And I'm assuming the rum conversation happened no. where they were having no, a no, 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 no. The first mistake was you two staying on the ship. We were yeah. all meant to go with the crew inland. You stayed on the ship. I was either going to split with the party and go inland or be kind of with the party. Okay. But I was like, something bad's going to happen if people stay on the ship. So okay. I was like, I'll pick a halfway point. All right. I was, I picked the bullseye of the target, as we all saw, come to fruition. Um, and I stayed in the bullseye of the target, even with my action surge, et cetera, yeah. blah, 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 blah. This is like, we'll do a recap about this. But I think oh. it was a mistake to stay on the boat. It was a mistake for me to try to stay with the party by being uh, proxied. Are you having this conversation as, sh as Shiver, as Katya? As Shiver. Okay. Tyrese is going like, to say, I we were paid died. to I've protect I've never retreated from, from anything. These people are not pirates. So we well, how do not we know that? to do our job. Pirates steal. They don't stab you when you're sleeping. Uh, we heard well, very we don't specifically know that. From that could be a Captain part Karan. of their stealing. Yeah. I say let's let's get ourselves patched up. Let's find some food on this ship. Let's finish resting. And then they're supposed to be back in the morning anyway, right? That's what it sounds like from what they were saying. And if, they, if they're here in the morning, they're that's great. They're all dead. Not, we have a it's boat. us in this boat. boat. Listen, listen, mate. Uh, all right, listen, listen. Our job They're is to protect dead. the goods, right? Thank you, Selena. Listen, our job is not to protect the people, right? Mm -hmm. The people are a liability. 
All right. They're dead. And they they went away from their security knowing that we were staying on the ship. But we they were probably necess- like, oh, they're doing their job, stay on the they're ship. They're in on it. We're going to make <gasps> our own choice to go. We can't necessarily help. That the people decided that they were going to run off to, you know, have a tiki party oh, no, up, in, up in the woods, so up in the shady. island. It's possible. That's why they're so shady when I said, why don't you have armor and fighting? And they're like, well, I don't know. It's just so much work. They're in on it. This amazing. We are leaving on- them right now and we're taking this boat. No, we at least need to stay until the morning because no. if they're fine and then they come back no, and they see leaving. that we protected right, the goods, they'll leaving. still pay us. Guys, we could still No, pay. they're not going to pay. I nearly died. See, uh-huh. now, he, and now, see, I'm leaving. Talking. We're leaving with this boat. We um, need, Shiver I like is money. going to roll for boat driving. <laughs> what I like, do you what is that? that? Have you ever seen a boat, mate? Do you even know how to... How to I'm to steal you know a what? ship. I have so many fighter instincts. <laughs> I'm, I'm it takes not so even many like people joking off right a now. ship to the size. No, it's a dinghy. We know it has aft. Oh my That's gosh! It. We're st- we're gonna take this dinghy okay. and run. Literally, is- we are. Like, I honestly, I'm shiver, and I know that I'm right. I don't even <laughs> think I'm right. I know that I'm right. Shiver, it was easy from the beginning. Shiver. I only went along with it because I was like, what are we doing? The fact that I was like, hey, you just told me that you know to expect pirates. You're not armed against them. And I was like, hey, why? And they're like, well, you saw Tide. So you don't make cannons. Shiver, and you I got seasick like, the first time you flag. stepped onto the friggin' boat, mate. How do you no. expect to actually steer it without getting sick. I feel like we should end the episode here no. with a roll of initiative between our party members no. because I'm taking this boat out to sea. I don't trust these people anymore. Shiver, could I could I roll persuasion instead of roll an initiative? Because that's what my character does. Shh. Okay, what am I gonna roll? I'm I'm honest to God. It sounds like I'm about to steal your necklace right. just so I, I can feel like stab if you. You be as stubborn as you are in this moment. Charisma saving throw, just charisma. Also, to back up a bit, Shiver, <laughs> give me an intelligence check with disadvantage to see if you understand anything about how to operate a boat. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> what is it? Just intelligence with disadvantage. Flat intelligent at disadvantage. Okay, I got a plus three. Do not twenties count? Which not with your it. first roll. Damn it! Okay. <laughs> um, a dirty twenty-one. Silvery uh, barbs. Can I please? Come on! Let, it's an intelligence <laughs> chat. Come on. <laughs> You all know I'm the tank of the party. I can just drive off with this boat. Y'all need a healer, and now you also oh need a gosh. tank. Come on. That's so funny. <laughs> uh, so and hard. what do I know? I feel like she needs to make constitution saving throws every time one she more, like hits a wave. Roll. All right, what's your silvery barbs worth? What do I have to do for this? You just have I'm to re-roll. Serious. I'm not trying to fuck with people. I really think I'm right. You just have to re-roll the check and... T- flat and that's the number that you actually get on this check <laughs> what is it <laughs> 24 Ugh. i rolled a nat 20 then an 18 you made me roll roll i got a 19 <laughs> awful all right so with a 21 you you watch. I mean, you were on that ship for three, four weeks. You watched. You have general understanding of how it works. Uh, it'll be very. You had me ro- what did you have me roll? Intelligence. Intelligence. Okay, so just facts, not lore and story and mystery. No, you asked. You asked if you knew how to work a boat, and that seems like a knowledge check. Okay. So. You, you imagine that with all the people that they had working it, it's going to be incredibly difficult to operate this boat with three people, but 
nothing saying you can't give it a shot. Okay, I'm going to threaten my crew and say... <laughs> crew! I'm yeah, I'm going to say, now. you're my crew now. And I'm going to say, yeah, we need six more people because the captain had eight total. Um, I'm... I. What can I do for persuasion? Oh my goodness. I'm going to do... <laughs> I'm going to do persuade persuade us. I mean, if you say you're going to, it seems more like an intimidation check. Okay, I'm going to intimidate people. It's the same. It's charisma. I'm going to intimidate people. I'm going to say, Shiver, Tiresias, and Selena, we are the ones who went through this fight. We're the ones on the ship right now. We're in charge. We're not the hired help we're in charge so i want to say they all can have their input for a pack that we put together i don't i don't even want to convince them like we sell off right now be like okay we're going to circle back with this crew but here's the deal we need to be in charge of this thing this is our moment to take control so what do i do for that intimidation persuasion you have her role in intimidation tiresias and selena roll wisdom saving throws Really bad for me. Really bad for me. Okay, because I didn't roll like the greatest. Ever. I rolled a nat one. Yes, that's good, right? Not the one me. time I want my party member roll to seven. roll poorly. Oh, I thought I didn't roll well. I got sixteen. Okay, you think a sixteen is not good? I rolled a 15 and I'm only a plus one. Anything above a 10 is good. Oh, okay. So I was like 50% on my way to perfect. Yeah, exactly. All right. So Selena and Tiresias, you are, you know, threatened and you guys start pulling up the rigging and you sail off in your No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. No, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to intimidate people to sail on. What I want to do is say, we can circle back with this group of people, but we all need to make a pact that we're in charge. I'm not trying to say we need to sail off. I'm saying, you're saying like, this is our moment for our party to be like, we run this shit. So it sounds like you're saying you're trying to intimidate us, intimidate us, and or not whatever. Let's get the role out of the language. You're trying to make yeah, us yeah, understand yeah. that we're in this together, and that these people are a threat. Yes, I'm trying to unite our party, and we can be united. We can all have different suspicions, different aims, but this is our one moment to say, okay, there are different powers at play. Can we all agree that we can try to see this thing through? I can't trust this group of people. These people who woke me up having my health, I can't trust them for, you know, obvious reasons. I don't necessarily trust you two, but here we are. We fled together. We fought together. At this point, neither of us, not any one of us is settled on like how we feel about one another. But can Tyrese we make a pact says, right you now? You two are the only people I trust on this ship. And I know that we're exactly. you two are the only That's other people on this ship. But I mean that in the metaphorical sense for when everybody's on the ship, you're the only two I trust. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And for me, that comes with a lot of, you know, caveats and red flags. But honestly, we're getting attacked from all sides right now. Mm-hmm. I know that we haven't really, like, gotten to know each other but i need to know that like i'm not alone in this fight because this is outside of what i'm used to knowing so selena are you with us like tiresia sounds like you're with me how are you feeling selena well i'm clearly not gonna go with the tiki party so i'm just gonna stick with you two Okay. I think that's an affirmative from Selena. So <laughs> I think we have a pact that the three of us are together and we're not totally trusting of this crew that hired us. Yeah. Well, I wasn't trusting of them to begin with. I was never trusting of this whole 
thing. I, I did. I just wanted to be clear. I did not want to go. You did. You were very upfront this, about that. I, I was. Think you were I was right. very yeah. upfront with. I did not want to go with yeah, with this. Whole Selena, and you don't trust right. anybody, is what I'm gathering. Uh, that's a safe bet. Love, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, apparently, that was being intimidating, but I think. It's just the can love all... friendship. <laughs> yeah, can we just say like we're in this together? Yeah, hundred percent. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I hold I hold my two fingers behind my back. Um, as I say it, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna. Oh, I don't. I'm not a sorcerer. You, I can't do. Well, this you thing. don't see that I hold two fingers behind my back. I just say it exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I'm hoping that this means that when we have a chance in between these random spats of combat that we can be real with each other and say hey you know it was really weird when i was just like sleeping on the beach and i felt like i was snoring really well and i just woke up and i was cut in half nearly i just hope that we would be able to share that with each other Mm -hmm. that's my hope here i think something we learned is that we should stick together and um okay I think that because if we had been there, maybe they would have stopped one of us instead of you, you know? Yeah, I just want to say, like, I don't know what's going on. I feel transported from one realm to another almost. Mm. I will say I don't remember a time I've been on the boat. Um, The water thing sucks. So, um, So are we staying on the boat overnight tonight and trying to rest? Or are we are we trying to flee? I know we're on the same page as. Like... I'm gonna need a series of buckets for somebody to escort me to the side of the boat. Other than that, yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Blech. Can somebody take? I gotta go aft. <laughs> gotta go aft. Time to go aft. Um, I don't know what aft is. <laughs> I have a suggestion for a course of action. Yes. I think that we should rest. I think that we should have somebody keep watch, uh, take turns keeping watch tonight. I think that if we see people come back, we should like keep a sharp eye out for like the coastline in the morning. And if it looks like there's somebody's following them, like swimming up or like with a boat, like like boating up. I don't know what the verb is for that. Paddling up, boating, Um, I believe. Or canoeing or kayaking. It depends Boating, on the yeah. vehicle. As they boat right up, up to the ship. Um, yeah. If they're bad, I say we throw everything we got at them and try to kill them before they reach the ship. But how do we know if they're bad? It could be the people who like hired us. Well, that's what I'm saying. So what I've said from, from when I started talking to just now, that course of action is for if the people who are approaching are specifically the people who just attacked us and we're stabbing us. Okay, um, gotcha, Here's what gotcha, I'm suggesting gotcha, gotcha. for if, if when the original crew returns. Okay. Okay, so we have a dini. I think we should keep it on the side of the boat where, like, we could, like, jump off into it if we need to flee. But if they seem non-hostile okay. and they come over, I think we should play it cool and be like, hey, did anything crazy happen last night? And then um, if it did, like, try to read them and see what, what they think. If they seem, I can it, lead the way talking about how well I slept. Okay, I won't that's give wonderful. them details yeah. about where and how I woke up. <laughs> and basically, if they really if they them. seem hostile, we can just like flee, or we can try and fight them and ship. Who knows? Um, we can kind of deal with that then. But if they seem earnest and like honest, I f- and we like defended the cargo, I feel like we should just like try to get off at the absolute next port but get our money for protecting the cargo because the cargo is fine actually is it fine i want to look downstairs down under the ship is the cargo i think still there? yeah actually taken? i was just gonna <laughs> say that i think even before we like chat with people i think we should just start like looking around the ship and doing some like perception yeah, and is like the stuff still there did it get stolen exactly uh-huh. Go ahead and roll a perception check. Okay. Uh, do you think that could make an investigation? 
do you think I could roll with advantage? I don't no, want advantage. I just want investigation. Uh, you can do investigation, yeah. I got 11 investigation. I got 15 perception. Um, Selena, whatever you have has advantage because I did the silvery barbs on shivering and am giving you advantage <laughs> from it. <laughs> if that's <Rude>. okay. <laughs> Rude. Both, both of my investigation and perception are the night. same, so. Right. Uh, I guess I will roll perception. I don't know. Uh... I got a 15 as well, so. Uh. All right, so as you go about the ship, everything is in its place down in storage. Okay. And as you, uh, as you climb back up the stairs onto the deck of the ship, you look out over the island and roughly tracing where you saw the crew go, you began you begin to hear screaming and shouting and uh you watch as uh flames overtake roughly where they seem to be going and that is where we will end our episode our final episode of 2023 yeah thank you they're all, it. They're all for in on it. joining us I agree. Uh, we will see you next year uh, to be determined. Uh, oh my gosh. Wonderful rest of your night chat. Yeah, happy holidays.